Welcome to day five of the 28 day photo challenge. Today, we're looking at high angle photography. So just like the name implies, we're looking at photography from higher up angles to give depth into photography to either show how large or small something is by using different angles. A great example of this is trying to show grade on a hill. You can never really see how steep it is because you're not actually there to see it. And the same thing applies for something that's either very small or very large. So we can use higher angles to show depth into a picture. Now with high angle photography, it's pretty self-explanatory right in the name. We're gonna wanna get a really high angle. So for this, I'm just gonna be using my tripod as high as it goes to try and make my laptop look as small as it can while still keeping the desktop computer in the frame to add some foreground to show the height difference between the subjects. All right, so I got everything all set up here. And what I'm gonna wanna do is zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to need an artificial light source for this. It's a little bit dark, so that's good. And I can raise the ISO up to accommodate. And now if we just try and center this up a little bit, so that way less of the printer is in the shot, and just try to get the laptop in the side third of this photo. So now there's two things that we can do here with focus. We can rack the focus so it's just touching the desktop computer, and now that's adding a lot of height because of how out of focus the laptop is. It's all still stationed within the rule of thirds, so that way everything does still look good. With everything ready to go, we can take this picture. The desktop computer is just grazing the focus line, and everything else is out of focus, which is showing off a significant difference in height. Now, we could be done with that shot right there, or we can rack focus again just a little bit further away to just touch the laptop. So that way the desktop computer is out of focus. Now this is great for trying to show something out of a car park, out of a window. Just to kind of express the height difference between subjects is by using height above both of them and then racking your focal point to different things. So now if we take a picture here, you can again see a drastic height difference between the two subjects and we didn't even move the frame. We've only changed the focal point from the desktop to the laptop. So you can use this to show different heights on how high up something is or how far away it is just by taking higher angle shots, which you can easily achieve just by being on higher ground than whatever you're taking a picture of. So this can always be useful into many other photography elements just by knowing what to look for in a higher angle. Now that's pretty much all there is to it to high angle photography, is you literally just have to get a higher angle than whatever you're shooting and then just use different focal points to try and express whatever you're trying to express in the photo, whether something is a lot bigger than something else or something is a lot smaller than something else, or even just how close and far away two different subjects are. So hopefully you got something out of this. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, or don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.